Round 2 of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Wait! Dio! What are you doing, Dio? No! He's going to try and open it! Damn right I am. But the result! <laughs> like I need to wait for that. Ah. Dio's BP was at 6. His opponent was Luna, and she is... Well, she is as she is. Her vote would have defaulted to Ally. All he had to do was pick Betray. And he'd have nine points, right? Excellent answer. I hope you remember to show your work. But... Fi was Dio's partner. And her BP was the same as Dio's. That means she has nine now as well. Exactly. It was nine the moment we stepped out of the AB room. Why? Why didn't you stop Dio from choosing Betray? You got the wrong idea, old man. This wasn't just my decision. We both decided to vote this way. Is that true? Yeah. I didn't have a choice. You didn't? Because of you, Luna's BP is negative one! So? What, she's gonna die again? Zero can pump all the poison he wants into her. It's not gonna make a difference now. Besides, her bracelet's already fallen off. You... Then why did you try and stop Dio, Fi? I believe I heard you cry out, wait, as he headed toward the number 9 door. Are you planning to wait for the rest of us? Did you just want to get your BP up to 9 to reduce your own risk? Sorry, but no. The only reason I stopped Dio is because I needed to know what someone else voted. Someone else? But that would be... Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. That... no. You betrayed me, Sigma. Why? <laughs> To keep your promise, you jerk! You liar! You're a coward! You don't care about anybody but yourself! All you wanted was to get out of here! You're horrible! I hate you! So? All that means is that you picked Betray because you didn't want to get left behind!
Sorry, I went ahead and opened it. Gonna have plenty of time to watch soaps on the outside, so I didn't feel like I needed to stick around to see how this little drama played out. Dio! Dio! Alright, lady and gentlemen, shall we? Why so serious? This really isn't the time for hesitation. You both crossed the line you weren't supposed to cross. You betrayed your friends. Am I right? I'm right. But you didn't have a choice, did you? You had to survive. Isn't that the way an animal thinks, though? Don't get me wrong. I see the logic, but it's kind of animal logic. Still, you made your bed. Now you gotta lie in it. If you're gonna be an animal, be an animal. Own it. The losers, the weak, throw them away. That's how nature works, my friends. That's life at its most pure. You get me? Now come on, hurry up and... The number nine door has been opened. It will remain open for nine seconds. Well, stay if you want. No skin off my back. Anyway, I'm out. Peace! Wait! God damn it, Dio! Three, two, one, zero. The number nine door is closing. Let's go, Sigma! Shut up! Just do it! The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. Sigma! Bye! Dio! Open up! Open this goddamn door!
Alrighty then. Here we are. Is that a hallway? Only one way to find out. This must be the prep room. I think I searched this place with Dio and Luna. Hold up. You know about the one on floor B2? Huh. So you know that the pressure in here is a lot higher than the pressure outside? Oh, you didn't. Didn't I just say what I'm talking about? The air inside this facility is kept at a higher pressure than the air outside. Apparently, they're doing it to keep the virus from getting in. If you're leaving, you have to lower the pressure until it matches what's outside. This room is where you prepare for all of that. See those suits over on the wall? They keep you from getting infected once you're outside. You have to put one on before you can go into the pressure exchange chamber downstairs. Luna told me. Apparently, it was all in a manual she found in a room we searched. Well, I wouldn't say it's mysterious. I think it's that Radical Six thing Alice was talking about. Don't quote me on that, though. Well, we've come this far. We can't turn back now. Let's get those suits on and head outside. No argument here. Let's do it. Looks like a desert. 
I don't know. I can't tell you what day it is, though. Look, the moon's red. See? This must be a total lunar eclipse. <laughs> During a total lunar eclipse, the moon is entirely covered by the Earth's shadow. That doesn't mean the moon just disappears or turns black, though. It actually reflects light that's passed through the Earth's atmosphere. But this makes it appear to be red. Essentially what's happening is that the moon is reflecting the sunset. Do you remember when the next total lunar eclipse was going to happen? Hmm. Well, there you go. Looks like it. We should get to the nearest town. to be one around somewhere. Even deserts have some towns, whether they're in the Mojave, Sahara, or Gobi. It's not what I'm worried about, though. Forget it. It doesn't matter right now. about whether or not there are any survivors. If Alice was right about the virus. I hope it's not the case, of course, but there's the possibility. Whatever. We should get moving. There are still four people stuck in there, including Quark. We need to find help and come back for them. Where... where are we? Yeah. 